Hi folks, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements 2022 looking at some of the new features in the program. Now every generation of Premiere Elements, Adobe continues to expand its library of guided edits. Guided edits, which can be found under the middle tab here at the top, are essentially a little tutorials. They walk you through step by step the process of creating different effects or adjustments. And some are very basic and some are outrageous and some are just plain fun. But in version 2022, they've added two new ones, bringing the total up to just about 27 at this point. One is adjust shadow and highlights in which you can take a video where there's high contrast. Say you're shooting a bird flying through the sky and either the bird is too dark or the sky is too bright. Adjusting shadow and highlights will soften the contrast between the two and you'll be able to see both the bird and the sky. There are also fun edits, audio adjustments, and here under video adjustments is a brand new one called animated overlays. These are kind of fun. They're sort of special effects. And as usual, when you select a guided edit, you get a little description of what kind of effect that edit is going to create. So let's click and start up. It says, first off, add media. So we're just going to go out here to our files and folders, and we're just going to select a video clip. And then it directs us to drag the clip down to the video one track on our timeline. I'm going to actually move up the timeline a little bit because we're also going to use video track two in a moment. It directs us to go over to the graphics icon here on the toolbar. And it takes us right to, and as you know, there are like 300 graphics, many of them animated. It takes us right to animated overlays. And here on animated overlays, we can select uh, sort of bubbly looks or bubbles or butterflies or leaves. I'm going to select snow because it doesn't snow very often in South Carolina and it recommends that we drag the snow animation or the snow clip up to video track 2, which we do. There it is. And let me just move the timeline up a little bit so you can see it's right there. Now right now the snow has a black background which means that it's opaque. We can't see through it to the video clip underneath, but we're not done working with the effect. It says open the applied effects panel, and we do that by clicking on the little icon here on the toolbar. It directs us right to it. And then select the blend mode. Now blend modes affect how two tracks of video interact with each other, and it encourages us to play around, and you can see some of these are less successful than others in this particular effect. I found that Screen does a great job here of blending these two. There we go. So screening, we can actually see the overlay and yet the black becomes totally transparent. We're seeing an interaction between the white elements and the video on video track one. So we click next and it says to just trim down the effects track or the clip with the effect on it. So it's the same length as our video. And that should do it. We get the green check mark, so we're all done. Let's take a look at our video. There we go. It is snowing there in South Carolina. Kind of cool. And of course, you can add the other animated overlays, any of these animations at all, or any of these graphics at all. But you get the best results uh, with this particular effect if you select from the animated overlays. It's a fun new guided edit. And... Uh, just a great way to expand your knowledge of the program and how to create effects with it. Now, if you want to know more about this program, about all the guided effects and the effects they create, and if you want to know how to use every tool in the program, you want to check out the moviepicks.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. It's available at amazon.com or any of the tips and tutorials we have here at moviepicks.com. I'm the author. My name is Steve Grisetti, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.